All right, so a couple of weeks ago, we were in the other trailer over there at executive mat services slash ecogrowth.ca. And this week we're gonna go inside of this magical container right here. So there are uh, all sorts of edible plants growing in here. And these edible plants are going to be uh, used by some sort of a consumer or um, grocery store. Ideally, what would happen, the grocery store would use their waste products in the other trailer, so just right over there. Again, this is just a demonstration site right now to show it's possible. Um, they would turn their waste products into heat, and uh, they've even started researching or figuring out how to capture the CO2, clean it up sufficiently, and then feed it to the plants inside of this container here. So this is another container of almost equal size, and um, inside here, they've got the equivalent of about four acres of plant production going on, uh, or have the ability to do about four acres of plant production. And it's basically all vertical growing. Now, my opinion on this stuff is that it's better to, to grow in the soil if you can, but in some of our hyper urban, hyper dense environments, this might actually represent a really great solution. And so on this side, we've got all of our plants growing. We've got basil and kale. Um, and all the lights are hanging vertically. Um, and the CO2, like I mentioned, is coming from that container on the other side. So you can kind of imagine this being off the back end of a grocery store. We've got our waste products being captured on one side and food being produced on another. Um, this could be married with an aquaponics system. And you could even potentially do soil culture and something like this as well down the road. I love the essence of what's going on here because we're, again, looking at that full cycle where we've got waste and resource kind of being partnered, where the waste is being produced and the resources are being consumed. So um, really neat. We'll do an interview with uh, Glenn uh, on a future date where, where they'll talk a little bit more about some of their plans um, and how they hope to get this into places like the north, um, remote camps, and even into cities uh, where people are wanting uh, more local food choice uh, at their grocery store. Okay, so here's the germination trays. You get up to 200 plants per tray in here, and it looks like this has also got an aquaponics or hydroponic component to it, so plants are being um, hydrated down below as opposed to having to water them up above. Um, the drainage goes back down into the supply tank down here. And then when the plants get to a sufficient size, they end up getting transplanted back out into the vertical racks. Okay, so that's just a, a little bit of a teaser. We're gonna do a longer video uh, of this system as well as some other stuff going on inside. Um, I will leave a link to Eco Growth in the show notes below. And if, if you don't wanna look at that, it's eco-growth.ca, but I'll leave a link in, in the show notes below. And you can get in touch with Glenn through that website uh, if you're interested in any of the tech that, uh, that you've seen in here. Um, I would just check out their website anyways. They've got lots of other really interesting information on their site. Okay guys, hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you guys real soon.